Welcome everybody. This is Alkistis from Athens, Greece, your life coach. Today we're going to answer a letter from one of the viewers of this channel who asked a little about hormones and anger management and what's the connection. Well, I would like to start from the beginning. First of all, as you know, many of your mood shifts are affected because of hormones. Okay? We have the happiness hormones, endorphins, and there are some aggression-related hormones as well. And what happens is you get an impulse from the outside world. I don't know, somebody passes you in traffic and you start getting upset and immediately, you know, your adrenaline rushes to your brain because of a very primitive instinct which uh, we all have. Um, since primitive times when we were, if you like, in the cave days, or even before that as animals. The main, if you look at animals, their main thing when they, when they sense a danger is the tendency to want to attack the danger or run for their life, right? So the body has an automatic mechanism that there's a surge of adrenaline. Unfortunately, in modern times, this is not always necessary. That is, we have a malfunction. We have the old function, which is not really necessary in many situations today. So uh, what you have is uh, the adrenaline rushing to the mind, to the brain, confusing the thinking, and therefore we can't think clearly. Okay, so the first thing you have to realize when you're getting upset is that there's a hormone rush. And you have to be able to detach yourself from that hormone rush, that, uh, the adrenaline rush, and to be able to breathe deeply, just for a few moments, breathe deeply, compose yourself, regain your composure, regra regain your inner peace, and from that point of view, start thinking clearly. Okay, because you can't think clearly when you're in a soup of hormones. Um, and we want you to react intelligently to things. We don't want you to just react as an animal would react. And you see most people are still on that animal level. So it's going to take um, a, a, a deep will from within us to actually evolve from pri primitive um, reactions to uh, more humane and more civilized reactions. I'm talking, of course, in the cases where um, the anger is not needed. In some cases, of course, uh, anger is a natural reaction and uh, we should just, you know, allow it to just uh, steam off, as we say. We say, when you're angry, you just will say, you know what, I have to go for a walk now, I need to steam off before you actually address the problem or before you actually attack someone um, verbally or physically even. So it's getting to understand the influence of hormones on your behavior. For women it has a lot to do with during their period time, there's the whole uh, hormonal, you know, uh, coming up to the surface and many a times we're a little moody, we're a little edgy. And um, the thing is to know that and to say, oh, sorry, it's not me, it's the hormones speaking, okay? So, you know, so that you don't begin to alienate and scare people off and they say, well, what's wrong with her? Is she kooky? You just say, it's okay, it's nothing, it's just the hormones, it's not me. Uh, I'll talk to you when I'm a little more calmed down. So the point is to recognize the effect of hormones on, your, on yourself and detach from it and think clearly. Okay, most of us are just, you know, victims of our hormones and just, you know, surrender and, uh, and we don't manage our moods well. So, another way to trigger off hormones when you want them, endorphins, for example, are positive hormones. I find a very useful method for triggering off uh, positive hormones is laughter yoga. Now, laughter yoga was invented uh, or discovered, created by a very wise Indian man and now it's becoming a global phenomena where you just spontaneously enter a state of laughter in order to trigger off the positive endorphins as we call them. Okay? And there are many other hormones such as oxytocin which is the hormone of orgasm 
and that makes everyone feel wonderful and it kind of triggers off a kind of morphine-like substance in the brain which calms us down because of course you'll notice after, horm after orgasm there's a wonderful peace and a wonderful calm because you've been showered with oxytocin so it's a wonderful hormone and therefore hormones are not bad or good in themselves but you need to learn how to manage your own hormones or to detect them and to direct them okay uh, that is, if you want to gain a sort of uh, self-mastery and self-management, okay? So, keep your questions coming. I have no problem answering any kinds of question. In fact, you know, uh, a recent other viewer sent me a question about masturbation, and I wanted to definitely say that masturbation is fine. It's a healthy thing to do. Uh, it's recommended, in fact, especially for young men and women who have a lot of energy, a lot of uh, testosterone in the case of men. And if that energy is not released, it becomes aggression, you see. So it's better that uh, young men especially and women masturbate. Uh, you see that a lot in societies where masturbation is forbidden, uh, there rises a lot of anger, you know, they channel their energy into, you know, political protests and um, rallies and um, vandalism and uh, so I think that it might have a lot to do with the fact that they're not uh, encouraged to masturbate in their cultures. In fact, it's considered a negative thing and sinful and, you know, even dirty. So the whole thing is to know what your body's doing, realize that it is a very sophisticated machine and instead of it driving you, you become the driver. You enter the driver's seat and you start giving, uh, giving a direction, okay? It's like a Lamborghini. You need to know how to drive the Lamborghini, otherwise the Lamborghini is going to just take you over the cliff, okay? So it's all about self-management, self-overviewing, and uh, happiness, I suppose, triggering off your own happiness and uh, recent studies have shown that when you're in the state of happiness and your hormones are flowing, the positive hormones, um, you're affecting the environment around you and it's actually contagious. This has been scientifically proven uh, by a Greek doctor, in fact, at Harvard University. And it's a wonderful good news. It means that the people who are uh, emitting happiness hormones are making that contagious for the rest of the world. And the same, of course, goes for the negative hormones. Um, so, lots of love. Keep your questions coming in. And I hope you're well. Bye-bye from Athens, Greece.